Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, ito ang magiging topic natin uh, tungkol sa pagbabudget, guys. So, it's gonna be about the monthly budgeting basics. So, meaning, from the basic talaga tayo. So, whether you are just starting your budgeting journey or looking to define your skills into the budgeting part, then this video is for you. I think I can say that for the past two years, I have something to share naman to you guys. So, I may not be that what we call pro in terms of the financial um, thingy, but I can say that I have enough experience guys to share with you of what I've learned about my budgeting skills for the past two years. First, why does budgeting matter guys? Well, it's like having a road map about your money to help you track where your money is going planning for your financial goals and of course avoid unnecessary stress that's why that's what happened to me in the previous years guys when i was not doing a budgeting okay so let's jump into the basics you know so they're just the basic let's start from the Bottom. Step 1 is to assess your income and expenses. Know exactly how much is coming in each month and categorize your expenses. It doesn't really needed na maganda yung planner mo. Just a basic notebook will be enough guys or even if doing this in your notepad sa phone mo can help you track what are your income and expenses i'm going to flash here yung template of my budgeting in which i am putting in my income one income two or income three next is to know or list down your expenses so we have the two type of expenses one is the variable and second is the fixed expenses i would suggest do your um, fixed expenses that will be like every month talaga na meron ka dyang binabayaran. So, let's say for example, yung rent ng bahay mo, that's a fixed expenses kasi alam mo na na let's say for example, 5,000 each month yung monthly rent mo. For the grocery, let's say for example, for me, yung binabudget ko for the grocery, it's only one five. So, that's, I'm putting it as part of the fixed expenses. So, ano nga ba at bakit nga ba kailangan mong i-assess yung income at saka expenses mo? That is because it will lay down the foundation for a realistic budget that will reflect your financial in reality, guys. So, as long as you know what are your income, how much you're earning every month, and how much you are spending each month, that's a great way to start on doing the budgeting. Step 3 guys is to create your budget. So again, let me flash my template here that what I'm allocating for my income and allocating for my expenses, putting aside the categories including the savings and also spending. But if ever you wanted to know or you need some guidelines on what are the categories for your expenses, I will be flashing it here para you have a clear picture of where your money is going. Next guys, i-goal nyo yung pagtatrack and pag-adjust ng budget. So for me, it really helps na alam ko yung day-to-day -day expenses ko. So let's say, for example, noon I was only budgeting for myself for a 2K allowance for the 2 weeks. And every now and then, I'm short talaga ako. Kulang na kulang yung 2K. So what I did is I used a money manager app, put in every single peso na may spend ko on a day-to-day, -day, every day, kahit pa yung um, 1 peso for the candy pino, pi, nilalagay ko talaga. Now, after that, I put all the expenses on a day-to-day -day basis. I have no or I realize how much I am spending on a day-to-day -day basis. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm spending 250. So for the 250, I am going to multi multiply that on let's say two weeks. Because every two weeks I get my pay, guys. So every two weeks, um, dapat 
yun lang yung magkagasto ko. So, 250 each day, um, yun yung budget ko. Allocated budget each day. Again, guys, budgeting is not a set and forget task. You really have to do a regular tract of spending, reviewing your budget, and then be ready to make I'm sorry, be ready to make adjustments. So it's all about staying flexible and in control. So if you've been with me for the past two years, you know already that I have made a lot of adjustments in terms of my budgeting because one, I've earned two years ago 10,000 each by by monthly, by weekly. Yeah, so na adjust ko siya. And then I'm making an income to 13k, so nag increase na siya. So again, I'm made my adjustments, but I'm trying my very best na hindi magtaas yung expenses ko. Now I'm earning, makita nyo naman, I'm earning around 15 each paycheck. So Naa-adjust ko na naman agad yung aking mga expenses, guys. So, again, it's not like for the first time that you did your budgeting, you will be successful. It's important na you're doing the tracking. That's the very first one. And you're doing the adjustment. So, masasabi nila na 10K, I cannot budget it. Guys, how small the amount is the very important is you are being consistent in doing your tracking ako guys even if before na maliit lang yung um income ko i'm still doing the tracking because i have to know how much should i be earning para i can say i am comfortably living my life so now that i am earning big enough i mean just enough guys it's not that really so big i can say na kahit malaki pa yung magiging income ko i know that i can manage that money efficiently why kasi i started from small amount from the small amount i even can say to myself na i can manage the small amount how much more kapag malaki na yung income ko so i'm very confident na once god prepared me to have this kind of earning the amount that i really wanted to call each month i know that i can manage it efficiently i know that i will not be into debt or mapupunta sa puro utang because i know i can manage it so for those who are watching this video for a minimum wage earner start tracking your expenses track start tracking your income guys um let's say for example you are earning 5k um per paycheck so that's every 15 or 30 let's say for example on that one um on the like like, like what i'm doing every paycheck i am listing down all my expenses so for the 5k what you are setting aside for that is your fixed expenses so fixed expenses what rent so yung rent mo na 5k dyan, um divide mo into two pay so two pay yan guys um so that's two five so let's say 5k yung uh, let's say realistic 3k siguro as an example of the rental so 3k so magsiset aside ka ng one five for your rent so, gumawa ka ng isang cash envelope. It doesn't really necessarily the same envelope for me. As long as meron kang envelope for your rent, then every paycheck, lagay mo dun yung 1-5 mo. Second envelope, you do your food allowance. So, let's say you have an allowance of 1-5. So, ilagay mo dun on 1-5. So, let's say naman, you have um, an ex fix or budget of 1000 for every month for your utilities, electricity, or for your um, water. So, 500 naman, don. So, yun ang importante. That you are allowing yourself to segregate your money, do some budget, and um, 
cash stuffing is really very helpful for this part kasi it helps you to stay on top um let's say for example kung kukuha ka ng pera for your food doon ka kumuha sa food allowance mo wag sa rent di ba so nakapag set aside ka na ng para sa rental mo nakapag set aside ka na sa utilities mo you have your own food budget allowance envelope doon mo kunin then by the end of the month kumpleto na yung uh, kumpleto na yung para sa rental mo eh hindi ka masyadang nabibigatan kasi in one paycheck kukuha ka ng 5k for the payment diba so you divide your expenses into two kasi you are earning twice a month para hindi siya masyadong mabigat para hindi mo ma-feel na masyadong mabigat yung binabayaran mo that's how you are going to do it so now once you have already identified that your monthly income is not enough for your monthly expenses kasi you have already list down your expenses eh, you have already tracked down your expenses and you know na kahit anong budget mo hindi talaga siya magiging effective that's the time you can conclude and find ways on increasing your income maybe you will find or look for a side business or a sideline doesn't mean kailangan talaga ng negosyo so side a uh, sideline or maghanap ka ng ibang trabaho na malaki yung kitaan so yun. so as long as your goal here as a startup is you you are tracking and doing your budgeting so yun yung goal first and also being consistent guys so let's say for example hindi ka din naman talaga um uh, hindi na kalakihan yung income mo pero shopping ka pa ng shopee bili ka pa ng bili na kung ano-ano diba so it's not realistic uh for you so i would suggest na tipit-tipit pag may time do your own budgeting guys being consistent ulit ulit ako na being consistent because i know i'm from i'm i come from there it's been two years guys my journey is two years before i'm able to say i am financially capable so yun na nga yun na nga yung um yun na nga yung goal ng ating video for today for e budgeting 101 no. So hopefully naging helpful ang ating video for today and I'm hoping that um this is informative and if you do please go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video to your friends and family that you think that they will also gonna need this. And again guys, um remember that build, building a good financial habits takes time. So, it doesn't have to be right away, agad-agad, di ba? So, be patient lang with yourself. And if you found, again, this video very helpful, give it a thumbs up. And um, being patient lang, guys. Kasi ako, two years eh. Two years talaga ako before I'm able to say, I am here financially capable. Um, do That I can say that I can spend a money without being hesitant. Hes without any hesitations but of course still being on track on you know keeping myself na to not go above and beyond with what i'm earning each month so that's it guys i'm really happy that you are here thank you so much and ano nga ba yung question for today mag ano ano ang fixed expenses mo every month so comment yun na lang sa baba guys. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on our next video. Bye and thank you.